Thank you very much. I have seen what you are saying. He has signed. He has signed. Uh, the acting chairman, Federal Civil Service Commission, you have equally made further submission. Can you talk to your submission, please? Please, quickly. You will be put on oath, please. Or Honorable Chairman, Notice. Yes, sign. When we will come back to you, then you make the correction and continue. Acting Chairman. Yes. Yes, sir. do solemnly affirm that the evidence I shall give in this investigative hearing shall be the whole, shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Acting Chairman, Federal Civil Service Commission, you have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Before I make comments on the latest uh, submission we made, I just want to point out to what the Attorney General of the Federation has said and to confirm that the first letter we received from his office was 19th January 2017. And that letter was titled Demand for Update on the Restatement of Mr. Abdul Rashid Abdullahi Mena as the Director in the Federal Civil Service. He asked some questions which we equally responded to. And I want to put it on record that the Anthony General never disputed the ownership of this letter, that first letter. And it's on record that he admitted the ownership of that first so, letter. Sorry, Chairman. Yes. Which le letters? You know there are several letters. The first Which letter we received, that is on 19th January 2017. So, and we replied the questions he asked. So, and later on, we got another letter, two letters, which is now disclaiming. I don't know and the letters he wrote made reference to the first letter and our submission. And so also the third letter made reference to our letters in response to the first letter. So that is the situation we find ourselves in implementing the letters he wrote. 
But I want to say something that there have been insulation that the uh, Federal Civil Service Commission did not follow the constitution by accepting the directive of the Attorney General of the Federation. First of all, this is a man who is the chief law officer of the country, who has been given uh, instructions and advice to several bodies within the Federation. And he came up with this. He came up with the first letter, the second letter, and the third letter. And Ch what we Chairman, did, yes. my understanding yes. is that whether those letters were signed by him or not, nobody is putting you at blame because of the letters. Thank you, sir. He is saying that the letters might not genuinely emanate from his office. Okay, I don't sir. think the Honorable Attorney General is claiming, but I don't know he's here, he's claiming that you are the one. No. Uh -huh. so. so, I stand by that, sir. So please, uh, are you through? Yes, sir.